English for teachers. Sample classroom conversation between a teacher and students on learning a math lesson. Good morning, class. Today we are going to learn about addition. Who can tell me what addition is? It's when you add two or more numbers together to get a sum. Okay. Practice some addition. What is three plus two? The answer is five. Great job. Now let's move on to subtraction. Who can define subtraction for us? Subtraction is when you take away one number from another to find a difference. Excellent. Now let's try a subtraction problem. What is eight minus three? The answer is five. Today we are going to learn about shapes. Can anyone name a shape for me? A triangle. Wonderful. Can you tell me how many sides a triangle has? A triangle has three sides. Let's practice counting. Count from one to ten. For me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Now let's try counting backward from ten to one. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Today we are going to learn about time. Can you tell me what time it is? It's two o'clock. Excellent. Now, can you tell me what time it will be in one hour? It will be three o'clock. Twenty-four. A sample classroom conversation between a teacher and students on learning a science lesson for grade one kids. Good morning, class. Today we will learn about plants. Good morning, teacher. I'm excited to learn about plants. Can you name some parts of a flower? Yes, teacher. The petal, stem, and leaves are part of a flower. What do plants need to grow? Plants need water, sunlight, and soil to grow. How do plants make their food? They make food through a process called photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is the process plants use to convert sunlight into energy. Can you give an example of a fruit? Apples are an example of a fruit. What is the purpose of leaves on a plant? Leaves help plants make food and provide shade. What are the three states of matter? Solid, liquid, and gas are the three states of matter. Give an example of a solid. Wood is an example of solid. What is the water cycle? The water cycle is how water moves from the earth to the atmosphere and back. Can you name some animals that live in water? Fish, dolphins, and turtles live in water. What is the habitat of a polar bear? Polar bears live in the Arctic regions where it's very cold. What is a food chain? A food chain shows how energy is transferred from one living thing to another. Give an example of a producer in a food chain. Plants are producers in a food chain. What is the process of changing from a caterpillar to a butterfly called? It's called metamorphosis. How do magnets work? Magnets have a force that can attract or repel other objects made of iron. What is the function of the heart? The heart pumps blood throughout the body. Can you name the planets in our solar system? The planets in our solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. What is the largest planet in our solar system? Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. What causes day and night? The rotation of the Earth causes day and night. How many bones are in the human body? There are two hundred and six bones in the human body. What is the purpose of the skeleton? The skeleton provides support and protection for our bodies. What is the function of the lungs? The lungs help us breathe by taking in oxygen and removing carbon dioxide. What is a fossil? 
A fossil is the remains or traces of a once living organism. How does sound travel? Sound travels in waves through the air or other mediums. What is the force that pulls objects towards the earth called? It is called gravity. What is the role of the sun in our solar system? The sun provides light and heat to all the planets. 25. A teacher's meeting script. Designing a new curriculum for English language at Vicar Nissanun School and College. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here today. As you all know, we are here to discuss the design of a new curriculum for the English language at our school. Our goal is to emphasize all four language skills, listening, speaking, reading and writing. Let's begin by discussing the curriculum structure and content. Thank you, Principal Roy. I believe it's essential to provide a well-rounded English education. We should ensure that our curriculum incorporates interactive activities and real-life scenarios to enhance the students' language proficiency. Absolutely, Headmaster One. To further strengthen the language skills, I propose the establishment of a presentation and public speaking club. This club will provide opportunities for our students to develop their communication skills and boost their confidence. That's a fantastic idea, Headmaster 2. The club will not only improve their speaking abilities, but also help them become effective presenters and critical thinkers. I fully support this initiative. I agree. It will be a valuable addition to our school's extracurricular activities. However, we should ensure that the club members receive proper training in all four language skills, including presentations. I have some good news in that regard. TESOL Bangladesh has offered to help our club members by providing training sessions on the four language skills, including presentations. They have a wealth of experience in English language education and their expertise will greatly benefit our students. That's excellent news. TESOL Bangladesh's support will be invaluable in enhancing the language proficiency of our students. I suggest we invite them to conduct a teacher training session as well to equip our teachers with the necessary skills to effectively implement the new curriculum. Thank you for sharing this information. We should definitely take advantage of TESOL Bangladesh's expertise. Now, let's summarize the decisions made in this meeting. Design a new curriculum that emphasizes all four language skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Establish a presentation and public speaking club to enhance students' communication, and presentation skills. Collaborate with TESOL Bangladesh to provide training sessions for the club members, focusing on the four language skills, including presentations. Invite TESOL Bangladesh to conduct a teacher training session to equip our teachers with the necessary skills to implement the new curriculum effectively. Is there anything else we need to address or discuss regarding the curriculum design? I have a suggestion. Can we also include cultural activities and literature appreciation in the English curriculum? It will help us understand different cultures and enhance our reading and writing skills. I agree with Aisha. Exploring different cultures through literature can be fascinating and broaden with horizons. I think that's a great idea. It will make our English classes more engaging and provide us with a deeper understanding of the world. I fully support the inclusion of cultural activities and literature appreciation in the curriculum. It will make learning English more enjoyable and meaningful for us. Thank you all for your valuable suggestions. That's all for today.